guys and welcome back to my channel. So I'm here in Portugal at the Aroca Geopark and I'm here at the Trilobite Museum which is home to the world's biggest trilobites. So you can see some of the examples behind me. They are massive. So normally trilobites are a few millimetres to centimetres. Here they get up to, you know, 70, 80 centimetres long. They are huge. So I'm going to show you a few examples. I don't have very long to film but I just wanted to share with you guys a bit about this wonderful place and some of the specimens that have been found. Um, so I will take you guys with me now. So here are some of the examples. So I'll use my hand as a size reference. They are truly remarkable and they are so well preserved and there are smaller specimens as well but they're quite hard to see in the cabinets. But then if I take you guys around a little bit. So here we have some smaller specimens but it shows like group behavior and how they lived and here we have a load of them that almost look like they're following in a line so it's really interesting yeah, for scientists and students to study them to learn more about how they lived and in today's world we still have some living relatives of trilobites so uh, arthropods like the horse um horse crab something like that um are very similar but you can see the size of these and the quality of these specimens. So these were found after quarrying here in Portugal and um, they were found within a slate mine and so they then have been preserved and put into museums so they can be studied because they are just one of a kind and then the size of this like this is amazing. <laughs> Look at that. And then here we have an example of ichno fossils. So this is when the trilobite buried in maybe clay and then it's been filled with sand. And you can see here the burrow that has been left behind. So the fossils here are really amazing and we can learn a lot about the lives of trilobites and how they lived in our oceans during the Cambrian period, which, you know, we're talking 400, 500 million years ago. So really amazing. And then this specimen is very cool. So this is actually a trilobite that's been caught and fossilized mid molting. So this is the head and then this is the head because trilobites, they will shed their um, shells. And so this trilobite is actually in the process of shedding its shell when it got fossilized. So very cool. So that's all the footage I got from the actual museum, but I thought I would do a conclusion here at my university where I've got some more trilobite specimens to show you guys, just to compare the sizes, because those found at the Aroca Geopark, they are just so much bigger than anywhere else found. You know, to have trilobite specimens this big is just remarkable. Usually they're a few millimetres, a few centimetres, so to have such a drastic size difference is really interesting. Now, some examples I have are, for instance, this one. So you can see it's a lot smaller, but still a lovely specimen. So you can see there, and then there are some larger ones. So I'm not quite sure what species these are or where they came from, but they were just too beautiful not to share with you. Like, look at this one. This is a big trilobite, but still only a fraction of the size found at the geopark. So it's really amazing. And what I love about this one, you can see the spines. So there's quite a lot of variation in species as well and some were blind, some had lots of eyes, so they're very interesting. I need to do more research on trilobites because you may have noticed ammonites is currently my favourite topic. But the more I uh, go into trilobites and the more I find them, the more interesting they seem to me. So they're arthropods, so I think I said they're related to the horseshoe crab and also wood louse, that type of thing with the segmented body. And they're, made, they're trilobites because you've got tri, you've got the head, you've got the body and the tail. There are more scientific names for that, but they're the kind of three sections. And then to just compare from other places, so here is another trilobite specimen. So you can see how different they can look in the preservation. Some are crushed, some are 3D. It just depends on the you know, preservation potential at that site. So I've got one last specimen to show you guys. So this is the same as the one you just saw, just a different one. So they're really amazing quality, these. And I just, when I saw them, I just thought I have to include them in this video and share them with you guys. So I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, I will try and arrange to go back to the Trilobite Museum so I can make even more content because unfortunately time was not on our side when I went. Um, so I just had to film what I could in the time given, but I'm sure I can arrange something in the future because I am in Portugal at the moment. So I should make use of it, but look after yourselves, like and subscribe for more, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.